Hi, Dr. Denise Dard here. This video is all about taking care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. So essential wherever you are in the process of recognizing, educating yourself, doing what's necessary to break free, and finally to recover abundantly and fully recover from toxic narcissists and their impact on your life. I'm happy to announce I am opening up some small group coaching. These are small, intimate, confidential groups, very affordable, where you can connect with others and myself in a meaningful way and begin to build that support work network around yourself that you've so desperately needed for so long. Look for information in the description section below and enjoy this video. I'll look forward to seeing you. Reach out to me if you have any questions about the small groups. Go out and make it a great day for yourself after enjoying this video, which you'll want to watch to the very end. How to, in the midst of some really painful stuff in your life, how to best take care of yourself. Every day I get questions and so many of the really um, pleading, almost desperate help me sort of questions have to do with this. When you know that your relationship has been harming you, whether you are still in it, whether you have left the relationship, you know that what you need on the mind, body, and spirit levels is to break free of this person and let go of them so that you can move on with your life. And yet it can feel so difficult to do this. So today we're going to talk about these three domains, mind, body, and spirit. Mind is about educating yourself, learning everything you can about narcissistic abuse, about power over types of relationships, um, where you can learn about specific tactics so that you know better how to respond and can set up a boundary. And so many of my videos focus on this topic, educating yourself, because once you know, your eyes can be opened, and once your eyes are opened, you will never go back to seeing things the way you did when you were in the midst of the fog, when you were behind that veil, and nothing seemed right, nothing seemed clear, but you couldn't figure out what it is. So educate yourself, so important. And yet, in educating yourself, there comes a place where you've learned the information, you know about the tactics, and still something about this process we wanna to continue to learn. And oftentimes this is about allowing the head to take over, intellectualizing, understanding. Well, that will only go so far and we need to move down to the heart level, paying attention to what is it that we need to truly break free, to really be able to recover. And that is to do what may seem impossible to release this person. Oftentimes the word forgiveness is used interchangeably with release. And if I su suggest that what you need to do to be healthy and whole again is to forgive this person, to release this person. Oftentimes that brings up, are you kidding me? Forgive the person who has done and who continues to do these egregious things to me? Forgive them? Well, I want to suggest that you begin to look at forgiveness in a different way. Forgiveness is simply releasing rather than you being the judge and the jury and the executioner. That's big jobs. You are simply releasing this person so that God, source, however you see that ultimate power that is bigger than each of us, releasing this person to God's hands. Let God take care of it. Ultimately, this is not your battle and any lessons that you needed to learn in life by being in relationship with this individual, okay. 
let them be learned and let that person move on. Knowledge that if your abuser is also the father of your children, that this adds another dimension. It can be very difficult and yet you can still release this person in the hold that they have had on you, on the impact, on their ability to have you react emotionally to them. This can and must for your own well-being be changed. So mind, spirit, or heart, and body. Reclaiming your body by feeding yourself healthy foods, by engaging in exercise, being in nature. And there are certain exercises that are good for both your mind and your spirit, such as yoga. Um, perhaps you could do some body work, recognizing where in your body you are holding on to this stress, and in meditation, releasing that. Mindful meditation is one of the most powerful forms of meditation for just being able to release that which was in the past or worrying about that which is coming in the future and simply being present in the moments of your life. It begins with acknowledging that self-care is not selfish. It is important. It is essential. It's essential for you to reconnect with yourself, to be healthy and whole in order to be there for the other people that are so important to you in your life. And for many of you, this begins with your children.